Come in the door, you're gonna get one of us. Who ever thought a country bar will be working on a chinchilla? I like it, I like it. Appreciate it, brother. They're best friends. So he fixed credits. So he came up with critter fixes. That is country. Like we country. Doing what they love. Teamwork made to what? Dream work. And treating everyone like one of their own. What you think? Don't bite my nose. Wish we could stay a long time with you. It's just part of their southern charm. <laughs> Beautiful. Critter Fixers Country Vets. New series, Saturday, March 7th at 10 on Nat Geo Wild. Yes, if there's a critter that needs a fixin', doctors Bernard Hodges and Terrence Ferguson are on it. Doesn't matter if it's equine dentistry or conducting exams in front of students at Fort Valley State, their alma mater. These two have a passion for veterinary science. And that passion and enthusiasm, not to mention their entertainment value, is what caught the eye of producers at Nat Geo Wild. My two favorite class clowns. For sure. Here and, we are. And I say that with all affection. All affection. <laughs> Just looking at the promo, I mean, this looks like it's entertaining, it's yeah. educational, and you guys have a lot of fun. Tell us what we're going to see with this show. You're going to see a lot of fun. You're going to see almost like the Three Stooges. You know, you might be like, no, no, no. You're like, <laughs> now, see, we, we just have a lot of fun. Um, yeah. You know, we don't take the profession lightly. Veneer medicine has been good to both of us. Right. Um, but we also bring our twists. I mean, you know, it's, I guess what they say, about 1.7% of mm -hmm. practicing veterinarians are African American. We kind of bring bring our own twist to it. We we have fun too. We don't we don't take for granted the platform we have to kind of bring kids along and and so that they can see that they too can be veterinarians. You know, even me, I wasn't sure because I'd never seen a black veterinarian, and it wasn't until I was a junior in college that I saw my first black veterinarian, wow. and it was at that time that I, I you know I was more assured like okay you can do this because he did this. And that's one of the platforms that this show provides for us is that you can see um, two minority, um, minority in two senses, minority in that we're African-American, also minority in that we're males in the profession of veterinary medicine now so that you can visually see it and that means that you can achieve it because we have. So it provides a platform and we're real proud of that. Yeah, you know, and Bernard, we talked a little bit about it. The other thing I really like about this show, too, is, um, hey, Georgia, Georgia agriculture is going to get highlighted. Yeah, for uh, and, sure. and we're going to see a lot of it. I mean, we'll tell, talk about the filming process, maybe something. That's the beautiful thing about this. I mean, we, we talk about Georgia. I mean, it's, you know, from our voices to the lay of the land to the drones, they, the, when they go over and they look at the crops. We go throughout Georgia, I can, you know, we went to go see a camel in Covington, Georgia. We went down to Montezuma to where the Mennonites are located. So we, you know, and did some sheep. So you got, you get a chance to see the row crops. You get a chance to see just how beautiful and how, you know, it's about the success of the farm and how the, the farm to market. That's how, you know, it's very important because I mean, a, a good food source and these kind of things are, are very important to the Georgia people and the Georgia farmers way of life. What was it like when Hollywood called you guys? Again, because you, you say it all the time, we're just two good old Georgia boys sure. and things, but then Hollywood calls and were you uh, like, why me or why us? It was. Um, it, was, it, was it was crazy, you know? And, and, and we, we now we go out and talk to kids all the time and we can really say it, it doesn't matter. If, if you're good at what you do, they will find you. Here in Georgia, uh, large animal science, veterinary, you know, veterinary science here and uh, uh, it's so important. Are you trying to maybe push more students yeah. towards that? Because there is such a we need are. for large animal right. you know, vets we here actually, in, in the state. There's a need. We actually yeah. just did something for the GVMA. It's the Georgia Veterinary Medical Association. We talked about the need and, and how really it's about production. Actually, you know, if you can, if you can, you know, we're seeing so many farms go away. You know, the dairy farms aren't, you don't have as many. So it's about teaching husbandry and, and showing the farmer that, Look, we can work together mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we can make your farm more profitable. We can help produce more cows. We can help with the goat population. I mean, with this huge Hispanic population Georgia is starting to see, there's a need for more goats. You know, so it's just teaching the husbandry and showing those different things. And there is a huge need, especially in the rural areas like this, for people who do both. You know, people tend to only go do small animals, but you got you to gotta do both. I mean, uh, uh, that both is needed. Are we going to lose you guys to Hollywood, though? Because we love having you here. You Never. Know, great Never. college here at Fort yeah. Valley yes. State. Yeah. We'll always You're be. You're going to stay true to your roots. Yeah, Student we'll, we'll be here in middle Georgia until, unless somebody runs us away from here. Exactly. You know, it's been, this area in Georgia has been so good to us. We've grown with the right. area, and the area has grown with us. We've seen um, 
babies grow up to go to college. Now they're married. You know, we've seen, you know, families um, that were not families at that time. Now they're married. Now they have kids. So this is our community. Sure. This is who we are. You know, when you think of Critter Fixer, you think of Middle Georgia. When you think of Middle Georgia, you think of Critter Fixer. Perfect. Because we just have that relationship. We're here. That we owe so much to the community because they've given so much to us. And yeah. we'll be Georgia boys till, yeah. till the day we die. Especially after going to L.A. and going in the L.A. traffic. Yeah, we don't want any Two part of that. Two country boys walk around L.A. We yeah. walk around like, uh, I know people looking at us when we walk, when we walk around. Looking I around. thought it was Rodeo Drive. It was Rodeo Drive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking, what a, what a lasso. <laughs> like, I'm so like, hey, come on. Hey, we didn't know cowboys over here. Yeah, I'm like, is somebody going to come out here and lasso? Yeah. We walk around. Rodeo Drive. I'm like, no. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> so we'll be right here. Yeah.